Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today I'm taking a look at an asset in a Unity asset store called Coffee Shop Starter Pack. Looks, well, quite nice. Let's get into it. So, first thing I actually found out about this, I mean, most assets, when I get hold of them, I always look for a demo scene. This one has a couple of demo scenes, which I am very happy about, because each demo scene actually has a different purpose. So usually what I'll do is I will go to the demo scene, and I will instantly press play. And this particular demo scene actually got me a little bit taken aback because overall it's quite nice. However, it's not quite as nice quality as you would hope for, but all is redeemed later on in this review. So quantity wise, there is a lot here, and I mean a lot, there is loads to use. Obviously it's uh, low poly, so it's not as high quality as some other assets, but you've got the drawers, you've got, you know, look at all this here, all the croissants, the stove, kettle, cakes, donuts. It's really, really nice. I really like how this is all put together. And the good thing is as well, each section does come apart, so you can easily play around with some of this stuff. It's not static, so it's always good to see that kind of quality in an asset. No staticness, everything is manipulatable, so you can move things around, change things around. So in that sense, it's very, very easy to use, and you can use some of these assets in anything, I think. So you look for this mug here, even if you don't want the cakes, even if you don't want the donuts, the stove or anything, you just want the mug for your game. There you go, this asset has it. So even if you don't want everything here, you may find something useful for your game, even if it's not some kind of coffee shop that you're after. Anyway, moving on to the other demo scenes. This one, let me not save that one. This one really shines because if we press play on this one, it actually doubles up as a little game. So you can see here, it's looking for a cupcake. So there are scripts in here that, well, there you go. You, you can see there's scripts for us. So you can play around with things, click. It's really, really good. So this particular scene really took me back and I thought that's really good. So I'm counting that as extras. There is a lot in here to actually count as extras. So obviously we've got all the textures, the materials, the models and everything that we've got. But when we get to the scripts, look at that. This is its own mini game in itself. And I really like that. To add that into an asset package is a really good thing because you can see what you could do with it. This is a bit like a hyper casual game in some ways, you know, a quick little bakery game or something. I know there's bakery games out there in the hyper casual genre, but you know, this is a quick little one that's been created and I really, really like that. So there is a lot in the way of extras here. Folds are nice and neatly laid out, always good to see. Uh, how useful is this? I think this is gonna be quite useful in virtually any low poly style game. And already I'm hoping some of you guys are looking at this and thinking, do you know what, I could use some of that and make a game out of it. Please do, because this asset is a really good asset to try and do that with. How customizable is it? It's not as customizable as I would like in some ways, because it's one of those assets, again, because it's low poly, that all of the materials can, or rather the material feeds all these items together. So if we were to change um this one in particular you'll see various different bits around the scene change uh, you've got the basic one here if we change you can see everything changes there so just be mindful if you want to customize it a little bit more that most of these assets feed off the same material but that's to be expected in this sort of thing size wise it is just 17 meg which is really good for what we get here i think that's a really good size and considering it's free as well that is fantastic. And obviously assets do change price from time to time. They go up, they come down. Uh, just be mindful of that as well. Uh, it's free at the time of recording this little video. So as you guys know, I don't rate assets, either recommend them or I don't. And I would recommend this. So even if you're a seasoned veteran to this, if you're a beginner, if you're still learning, if you're halfway through some kind of course, maybe from me or somewhere else, I think this is going to serve a good purpose one way or another because it's something intriguing. It's something to play around with. It's something to give you ideas. So I would absolutely recommend this to at least just try out, have a play with and have a look through.
So guys, have you tried this? If you have, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. And if you've got an asset on the asset store, please link me to it. I'd love to check it out and review it in one of these little videos. And finally, guys, click on that subscribe button and click on that bell icon as well to stay up to date with all of the tutorials, all of these reviews, and all of the Unity games that I have on my channel. It'd really be appreciated. So until the next video, guys, thank you very much for watching.